Thank you, Scott, and thank you for inviting me here today to talk about infrastructure and how it impacts our farmers in the state of Mississippi. Uh, I am a uh, farmer. Uh, I, I do uh, feel the impact of uh, roads and bridges and closures and posting uh, down in Jefferson County, and my membership's feeling it all across the state of uh, Mississippi. Uh, agriculture, as Scott said before, is uh, Mississippi is a, uh, is a main driver of economics here in the state of Mississippi. We uh, had a farm gate value of $7.6 billion worth of uh, ag products for the state last year. Uh, if you talk about uh, adding value and future processing of that, raises up to $16.5 billion. Uh, we have over 36,000 farms in the state of Mississippi, 11 million acres of farmland, almost 28 million acres of uh, forestry land in the state of Mississippi. Uh, we don't have a plant uh, or manufacturing facility at the end of a cul-de-sac or in the end of a, an industrial complex. Uh, we raise these products, we raise these uh, commodities uh, all over the state of Mississippi in all 82 counties. And they have to go across many miles of local county roads and bridges uh, across uh, interstates to get to a port or a manufacturing facility that'll, that'll take it to the future process it. Uh, Mississippi's uh, ag industry uh, is, uh, uh, leads the nation or, or is in the top 20 in uh, many uh, different commodities. Uh, rice, cotton, corn, soybeans, milo, all rank uh, high in our, in our national production. Uh, poultry is our number one ag commodity here in the state of Mississippi and is followed by forestry. All of those products uh, are, uh, are um, tied closely uh, to being able to get inputs in and getting their finished products out uh, to market. I spent a significant amount of my time uh, listening to uh, concerns and, and uh, needing help from farmers uh, across our state uh, dealing with this infrastructure issue. Uh, Rodney talked about Highway 6. I think that's what put uh, uh, infrastructure on the roadmap for uh, Mississippi Farm Bureau. Uh, when the bridges were closed on Highway 6, uh, we had some grain elevators over in the eastern part of the state that couldn't get their products, that couldn't get their grain uh, delivered to Friars Point. Uh, they were actually having to go more than 100 miles out of the way to get, those, uh, get that grain to the elevators. Eventually, after a lot of losses, a lot of them were able to get out of those contracts and were able to ship that grain uh, to Memphis, Tennessee. The next year, the bridges still aren't fixed, uh, but they were able to uh, transfer the cost of that transportation back to the farmers. Uh, and uh, just uh, in lower prices for their commodities. Uh, this year we were able to get that, that, that grain moved across Highway 6 and we're very thankful for the, uh, the progress that we made there. But all across the state of Mississippi we're hearing these same stories. Uh, yesterday uh, I was dealing with a group of farmers down in Claiborne County uh, on a rural county road that's, that's been closed and the bridge is being uh, uh, worked on and uh, it's time to get in the fields and to get around it is another 25 miles uh, almost to Utica and back down uh, to uh, the farms that they need to get to. We were very fortunate enough to be able to work out a compromise uh, so they could uh, get there. Uh, time is very critical for our farmers. It's just not enough time in the day to get everything that they uh, have to do uh, and uh, saving just a few minutes every day is very important to them. Um, it's a safety issue. Uh, the longer those uh, heavy trucks with uh, uh, logs, with uh, pulpwood, with grain are moving across out of the way, uh, a lot of times down roads that we probably don't need to be going down. Uh, it becomes a safety issue. It, it becomes uh, an insurance issue. It becomes uh, an additional expense for an uh, industry uh, where uh, profit margins are, are razor thin at times. Uh, in my home county, in Jefferson County, uh, I have a, a, a bridge out uh, near my house uh, that uh, causes me to uh, take a different route to, uh, to, to haul our cattle, to haul our, our timber uh, to market. Uh, my family that I grew up, grew up with that farm right above Rodney, Mississippi on the banks of the Mississippi River had two bridges out uh, close to their house, cost them uh, to go around for almost a year and a half, 15 miles around a gravel road to get to their house. Uh, there was one uh, wood structured bridge uh, there that if, if it would have been posted, the only way they could have got to their homes was, uh, was with a helicopter. Uh, infrastructure is, uh, uh, has become something dear to Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation. Um, we are a very conservative organization 
uh, in my lifetime dealing uh, with this organization, I never would have felt like that we would have de developed a policy that says we're for a tax increase for anything. Uh, but after we were having uh, such a tremendous amount of problems with this, uh, our volunteer leadership, our grassroots came together and put policy in our policy book that I take to our legislature here uh, in Mississippi and, and uh, says, we are not telling you how to raise this money. We know that it's a, a difficult task uh, to come up with that approach, but we are telling you uh, that if we're going to remain viable, if we're going to remain Mississippi's number one industry, uh, that we have to improve our infrastructure. We have to be able to get across these roads and bridges uh, down uh, these county roads uh, where our farms and our ranches are. Uh, I had the opportunity to uh, uh, go on a trade mission here recently. I went to Cuba. Uh, and I looked at a country that uh, looked like they had made it to the 1950s and somebody just pulled a plug on it and time stood still. Uh, and uh, the Minister of Agriculture came and, and seeked us out. And uh, he's, he has a very fond feeling of Mississippi. He looks at us as, as uh, a, a, much like he looks at Cuba with the same type of, of uh, growing conditions, the same type of, of weather and uh, he, he was asking, asking for our help. But I see uh, a, a country that's going to be uh, struggling for decades to come uh, trying to feed themselves because they don't have infrastructure. They stopped 70 years ago of uh, putting any uh, uh, money into to their roads and bridges, and it's going to be almost an impossible task for them to move into the 21st century. Uh, I don't want to see Mississippi stop uh, or, or stand still. We've got to figure out a way to maintain these roads and bridges uh, if we're going to continue to thrive uh, from an economic standpoint. So uh, on behalf of the farmers in the state of Mississippi, uh, I, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to tell our stories today, and uh, that's what we'll be doing down at the legislature is, is to continue to tell them how important uh, our infrastructure is to the state of Mississippi. Thank you, Scott.